What is up guys? Welcome back to Solo MC Rider. Today I'll be doing a quick DIY video on my motorcycle. It's been a while. I have not done any DIY videos on the motorcycle since my BMW S1000R. So I will be making a quick short video on installing a USB socket. But today I just want to make this quick small changes. This is really bothering me. So this is a uh, 12 volt DC socket that I want to change it to a USB plug. So I thought um, make a quick video and uh, see how I can install because I have been searching online and nobody has any video on uh, installing a USB socket in this uh, location and replacing the 12 volt DC. So without any further ado, let's get to the parts, see what I have and then we can walk you through how to install BMW USB socket. It is the USB-C and here's the parts number in, in case if you guys are looking into the market or getting one of these. The install should be pretty nice and easy. That's what I hope. So we will figure it out. Um, let's open it. And the tool I should be needing is probably the only um, the torque speed, five millimeter. And uh, I do have a step drill bit just in case if I need to make the hole a little bit bigger to fit that, but I think it should fit. So the parts comes with the USB socket itself. As you guys can see, that's a USB-C and comes with that nut. Let's go to the bike. Let's get the screen up. I don't know if you guys can see, but there is the, um, the screw right here. Let me show you with my other camera. Um, we should, that should uh, get us the access to remove this piece right here. So this whole piece should come out and then uh, we'll unplug and take this portion out and put the other one back in. It's a very tight space. I didn't want it to take the whole windscreen off, so make it a little bit difficult, but... Um, I don't want to drop that screw. That's it. So as you guys can see, this piece is off. I don't want to scratch anything. Carefully move this. Unplug that. There you go, just came off. That's the plug. And the other one should just plug and play. But that's the piece that we are going to be removing this section. Uh, and then, we will be replacing with that. Yeah, that works. This is probably the easiest mud, I would say. No need to uh, make a hole any bigger. Looks this perfect fit. The problem is the, the cable thing is facing down, which I do not want. I want that to be facing this way and there is a little notch here which if you guys can see the cutout right here so that's the only improvise I have to do um, let me check to see if I place it on the bike it's not gonna work so I definitely need to cut a groove right here. So I'm gonna do that. Make a little notch just like this one, right over here. So this will be facing just like that. Make a hole through here. And just use the, the cutter. Yeah, this is pretty soft plastic, so it should be fine. 
There you go. Now let's see. Perfect. As you guys can see right here. So now all I need to do is just put the nut behind it and uh, it should hold it so nice and snug as you can see no gap at all and it's not going to move around so let's put that perfect let's tie it up I know this is overkill for that but this works perfect not going anywhere so you can see it's plugged in right here all I'm gonna do is go plug this in yeah. that's it I should plug in a cable to make sure it works but I'm sure it's gonna work I will give you guys a clip later or I'll just probably put a clip in here just to make sure that it works but let me just put that back on right so you made it all right it's tight enough that's it. Oh, that was it. So it didn't take long. It took about 10, 15 minutes or so, and this is done. Now what you just have to do is uh, plug in the cable and make sure it's working. I will uh, test it out later on and show you guys video. So make sure that it works and uh, nice and clean. BMW OEM parts, no issue. So we should be we should be good to go how clean that look is it's perfect and it's facing this way so i'm just going to snake the cable underneath the dash and bring it out here just like i have it on my quad lock and it should be good to go and i will just remove this cable so i can use it for charging something else so now i have two usb plug plugged in and uh, we should be good to go should be it for this video guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys find this video helpful and i will see you guys on the next video see you later and sorry about the mess on my garage because i have a construction going on um, a lot of materials is going to be emptying out very soon so